Dear students, today we shall be discussing a very interesting topic in mathematics that is the concept of a function. This is one of the most fundamental concepts of mathematics. It forms the basis for modern engineering mathematics. A function basically shows how one quantity changes with respect to another quantity. Before we proceed any further, let's have an overview of today's lecture objectives. Dear students, by the end of this lecture, you should be able to understand the following aspects of the function concept. What is function? Notation of function, evaluating functions, and inverse functions. What is a function? A function is simply an equation in two variables x and y where for every value of x there is only a single value of y. Now let's take some examples of the equations and see whether they are functions or not. y equals 2x plus 1. This is an equation in the variables x and y. Now we plug a couple of x values into the equation and see what happens. x equals 1 gives us y equals 2 times 1 plus 1 which equals 3. And on putting x equals negative 2 we get y equals negative 3. And x equals 0 implies that y equals 2 times 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. We can see no matter what value of x we put, each time we get a single value of y out of the equation. So based on these mathematical operations, we can say that the equation y equals 2x plus 1 is a function. Now let's take a look at another example y equals x squared plus 1. Again we plug a couple of x values into the equation. x equals 1 gives us y equals 1 squared plus 1 which is equal to 2. x equals negative 3 shows that y equals 10. Here again we got a single value of y for every value of x that we put. So the equation y equals x squared plus 1 is a function. Now we take a look at some of the equations which are not functions. y squared equals x plus 1. On substituting x equals 3 we get y squared equals 3 plus 1 or y squared equals 4 which simplifies to y equals positive 2 or negative 2. So without going any further, we can say that this equation is not a function because here we got two different values of y for a single value of x, which contradicts our definition of a function. Similarly, the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1 is not a function as it leads us to two different values of y for a single value of x. Now let's talk about function notation. Let's start with the function y equals x squared plus x plus 2. This function associates each value of x to a unique value of y. We write it as a function f from x to y or y equals f of x or f of x equals x squared plus x plus 2. Now let's talk about evaluating functions. Finding the value of a function at a particular value of x is known as evaluating the function. Given the function f of x equals 2x plus 1 whole squared, the value of f at x equals 2 is 25. We write it as f of 2 equals 25. 
so to evaluate a function we plug in for x whatever is inside the parentheses to practice a little bit more let's do another quick example given g of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 3 evaluate f of negative 2 f of t f of t plus 1 and f of x squared to evaluate f of negative 2 we plug negative 2 in place of x on the right hand side of the equation to get f of negative 2 equals negative 2 squared minus 5 times negative 2 plus 3 which equals 17 now we put t in place of x and get f of t equals t squared minus 5t plus 3 and f of t plus 1 equals t plus 1 squared minus 5 times t plus 1 plus 3 which simplifies to t squared minus 3t plus 4. Finally, f of x squared equals x squared whole squared minus 5 times x squared plus 3 which simplifies to x4 minus 5x squared plus 3. Similarly, we can evaluate a function on another function. Let's consider the functions f of x equals x plus 1 and g of x equals x squared. If we put f of x into g of x in place of x, we get g of f of x equals x plus 1 whole squared which is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 and on putting g of x into f of x we get f of g of x which simplifies to x squared plus 1. Finally we talk about the inverse of a function. An inverse function is a function that reverses another function. Let's consider the functions f of x equals x plus 1 and g of x equals x minus 1. Here the function f takes an x value and adds 1 to it. Whereas the function g takes an x value and subtracts 1 from it. So these two functions are doing opposite mathematical operations. Hence, f of x and g of x are inverses of each other. Similarly, the functions f of x equals 2x and g of x equals x over 2 are the inverse functions. This isn't always possible to write the inverse of a function by just looking at it. Rather, we follow a step-by-step -step procedure to find the inverse of a function. To find the inverse of a function f of x, the following steps are taken. Step 1. First replace f of x with y. Step 2. Solve the equation for x. Step 3. Replace x with y and y with x. Step 4. Replace y with f inverse of x to get the inverse. Let's do a quick example on finding the inverse of a function. f of x equals 2x plus 5. First, we replace f of x with y to get y equals 2x plus 5. Then solving for x gives us x equals y minus 5 over 2. Now we interchange x and y to get y equals x minus 5 over 2. Finally, we replace y with f inverse of x to obtain f inverse of x equals x minus 5 over 2. With this, we come to the end of today's session. I hope the lecture has helped you better understand the concept of function. Do let me know if you still face any problem by writing in the comment section of my YouTube channel. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. See you in the next tutorial. Thanks for joining me.